Hi everyone, my name is Lucy and this is Memory Keeper Journals. Today I finally have my yellow, beautiful, handmade, book board, hardcover journal I created. These are my spring journal collection and, and in this video I'm only going to show you the yellow one and then I will continue with the pink one and the green one. So I will do a video for each and every one of them. This one I use, was inspired by um, watching one of the videos in uh, Patreon from Teal and Tattered Martina and I decided to create a hardcover journal for the first time uh, painted with acrylic and adding some of that vintage gold uh, wax and it is sealed with some Mod Podge so it's not going to get ruined and it's not going to smear anywhere. I did it um, with gold edging all around messily with my fingers and it's got um, bookends to protect the ends of each of the pages of the I mean, um, covers. Um, the covers are thin because this this is um, book boards that I bought are the thin ones and I will show you one of these days what it looks like when I uh, do a tutorial on how to create a journal and um, it's one of the plans that I would like to do and show you for the first timers and this is a um, I used a wax uh, thread like I always do and of course a little book board was says journal uh, book plate that says journal it is attached to the book as well and um, so yeah so I painted it hand painted it myself it was really fun working on this I really loved it and I think I might make some more but you guys you could tell me what you think um, I used a ribbon to cover it because I didn't want to do any specific closure on it because of the way that I created the inside covers. So um, basically I wanted to do a tiny mood board that you can use to um, collect all of your fun things that you would like to use to add into your book and your journal or to write or whatever. And I created this little mood board here on the first page with some of that um, uh, quilted, um, what is it called? It's like a batting. And then I did some fabric over it and glued it to the cover. And at the same time, added some of these uh, elastic strings right here. So it's really cute with a little clip. Added all these cute Polaroids and pictures from raindrop lila this was gifted to me and i will add the person's name um below in my description box so that you can see it's like a bookmark and it has butterflies on it and it's so adorable because when you close the book you can see the butterflies on top how cute is that so you can even use it like if you like to read you can use it for a bookmark in your book that you're reading at the moment let me move this camera a little bit because i want you to be able to see it all and give you some space here and this little envelope is made out of a book page from uh, edith holden book let me take it out and i can show you and there's a inside i added um the cute little journaling card that came on the kit that I use from Angela Kerr. This is the actual kit that I use from Angela Kerr. It's called Spring Has Sprung. And I'm going to add her below so that you can check it out. It's so cute. And I took some of the um, flowers and butterflies from one of the pages and fussy cut them so that I can use them to decorate around the book and envelope. So this one goes right here. And then I added this cute butterfly as well that was made by hand by um, Gina from Pretty Paper, Pretty Paper Bits, I think it is, or something like that. I'll put her out. I'll, I'll link her below. I love all of her dainty little things that she creates. And she made a little butterfly. So I put one in each of the books and added in here. And these polo these pictures, this is attached with the Polaroid, I created I cut these pictures out and I made them smaller. These are from Raindrop Lila as well and I made them into postcards. How cute is that? I have a stamp and I figure I make it into postcards and people can just 
use it and gift it. Isn't that cool? So I have it clipped here with these cute little tiny uh, <laughs> clips. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. I love it. I've always loved mood boards. I, I actually have my own little um, string on the wall with some pictures of my grandbabies on it. So yeah. <laughs> and here is the journal. So I put a lot of sin binding and ruffles everywhere and a cute little applique in the front. Okay, so this is this is what I thought. When I saw Angela Kerr's um, uh, video and her digital, I immediately got it because I was like, this is adorable. For spring, this is exactly what I think about. I think about flowers and little animals, little baby animals because, you know, that's when you actually get to see them, all the cute little birds and butterflies. And so I figured this book is going to be like a flower. It's bursting of flowers because it's spring, right? So that's that was the whole inspiration for this book. And then, of course, I learned to create this um, uh, painted book board cover with watching uh, uh, to Martina as well so I was like yeah this is definitely I have to do this whatever I'm doing is going to stop right now because I have to do this and that's usually how I create it depends on how what inspires me that's what I want to do and I will get into that and I can't do anything else but that unless of course I need a little break here and there but anyways, once we open the pages, here's a flip up of a fabric with a cute little button. Coffee dyed paper. I use some of the um, papers from a uh, paper pad that I bought. It's called the Paper Studio from Hobby Lobby. So you'll see a few of those throughout. This is a pocket that I created in all three journals, which by the way, not all three journals are going to be the same. They're going to have a couple of things that are the same. But not everything inside of the decoration or embellishments are going to be the same, okay? Except, of course, the ruffles might be the same, but what I do in decorating the pages are not going to be the same. But this one, you will see it in all three. And it has cute little pocket down here with some journaling cards. So you have two of them. And this is part of her digital as well from Angela Kerr. And in this pocket, I created a little decoration here with some wallpaper from TaylorMade and a vintage music paper and an envelope that I got and I bought from uh, the paper patch as well. So all of the people that I have used digitals from papers, anything, I will link below in my description box so that you can actually check them out and you can see everything that they have. And these are my favorite places that I go to all the time just to get whatever I need for me to, to create these journals handmade paper and this one is a vintage handmade paper as well so you can use it throughout the book you can write on it or use it for anything else or use it in one of the envelopes that you will see um, available in this book that you can use for whatever you would like to use it for a gift or um, or mail it to someone whatever you like to do some of the pages are decorated, not all of them are because I'm leaving you plenty of space for you to write. Book pages that you can decorate yourself. Beautiful wallpapers that I actually printed on a linen paper. So it actually feels like wallpaper when you touch it. So you have a lot of different feels of paper throughout the journal, which is awesome. I love that. You also have some cute little beads and decorations of glass beads around throughout the journal as well. So you'll see that. Here's a cute little tuck with a journaling uh, tag with, um, this one is from Amity Bloom. A little tuck here, cute little lady. There's a secret pocket in here and it becomes secret because mm, if you don't have anything in there, nobody would know that there's a pocket in there. And this is a tag, a cute little leaf. So you can write in the back and all of them are covered with some coffee dye paper or any other kind of paper that I have. And it is sewn around as well to give it some interest. And then here on the other side, there's another pocket and a journaling card as well. And this is part of that digital 
kit that I bought from Angela Carr. Vintage ledger with a tuck and a cute journaling card. Page. This is the middle. And this, I believe, is from Taylor Made from the Lace Avocado Papers. And I use a beautiful um, lace um, uh, material to do pockets. So you can add whatever you like in here and decorate it with some cute little pink bows. Here's another side of that digital. So pretty. The colors are so beautiful. This is a um, ledger, the other side. Here's the other side of that pocket. So I created two pockets. So one here is for a tag that you can write also in the back. And I have a lot of people that I've used of digitals. Here's a vintage check from 1942. You can use it for collaging or whatever you would like in, throughout the book. You could even create a tuck too, like a pocket. Whatever you like to do, you can do that. Um, and there's a secret pocket in here. And in the back, there's another little pocket with a tag from that digital. And these cute ribbons are bought from um, Plum Boutique. And it's on Etsy as well. And I learned from that. Um, specific boutique from Angela Kerr from watching her videos and I love all of her ribbons they're really cute <laughs> cute little bunny she actually named all the bunnies you need to watch her videos I don't remember their names but she did she named them all there's three of them in the digital <laughs> that was cute here's a book page vintage book page see and I use one of those ribbons okay and this is another flip this one I also created in all three books. So when you open it up, you have a uh, music paper, vintage paper, with a tag that I actually showed on my uh, Instagram. This is from the book from Edith Holden. I cut it on, I added it into a, a craft paper and I decorated the outside with some of those fussy cuts that I took out from the digitals from Angela Kerr cute little sentiment and all and it goes into this little pocket here decorate it with some flowers and some butterflies there's also a little pocket here with a tag from the digital it's one of the other bunnies in a cup how cute with a little lace here a ribbon and a sentiment and then when you turn it you have it this is made out of um envelopes from recycled envelopes they're business envelopes that we get in the mail and we chuck it to the trash I actually covered it up with some of Edith Holden's pages and brand new again we can use it and it has a pocket right here with a letter these I purchased from Rosso Paper Cottage from Heather and this is from 1911 and you have these letters that are really old that you could use a vintage for collaging i love using these for collaging so i figure why not gift them one so that the person can actually use it in collage pages if they like you have plenty of pages to write on and collage add pictures on whatever you like cute little charms butterflies i decorated some of the pages with a couple of things just to make it pretty but I didn't put too much just so that you can write and do what you would like because if I keep going, man, I fill up the whole book. <laughs> Here's another pocket with one of the digital tags. And um, I, I decorated it on the outside of the pocket with some fabric, a piece of fabric that I cut and made. And I put it on here with a cute 3D um, butterfly. These are from uh, Tim Holtz dies, and so is this. These little cute tags. I added there with some lace here. And this is the first signature, second signature. I decorated the front of it with some of these laces and did a whole um, layered lace and uh, fabric and sim binding. So cute. Then in the first um, cover of the second signature, I created a pocket with a book page. And I was uh, actually crafting that day with uh, Martina at Teal and Tattered. 
and she was creating some pockets so with some book pages and so I took my Edith Holden book pages that I have and created a cute little pocket added a tag from Amity Bloom and some of her wallpaper here with some ribbons cute little diamond and some glass beads and these cute little ladies I like to use them on my bullet journal and on my personal writing journal let me show you oh, they come like this and they are from a more rose studio sorry if I'm shaking the camera it's attached to my table so yeah and these are so cute I love using them they come in different um, styles and dresses and things like that they're so adorable and I like it because they don't look like clowns you know I've seen some that look like clown and they're kind of freaky I would never use them these have their eyes closed that's fine with me so I figure why not add it into the journal because I love playing with them these are cute and so here's a belly band here's an envelope with a little velcro and it has a card actually a journaling card but it's actually a polaroid picture from braindrop lila's digitals i love those by the way those are my favorite flowers daisies i love them and i didn't decorate this one so that you can decorate it the way you want okay here's more writing space more writing space lace trim more writing space ledger this is a vintage ledger. Here's a tuck with another tiny little Polaroid. Here's another one that you can write in the back. I put it on cardstock. Um, um, and I made a bookmark with a cute little butterfly. And I think these butterflies are from uh, my porch prints. Yep. I think that's where they're from. Uh, I did a collage with some vintage music paper handmade embossed paper from heather at rose hill paper cottage and some wallpapers from ruby and pearl and i added it on here some of these wallpapers are from ruby and pearl and some are from um amity bloom so i did use that around and i sewed around it and uh coffee paper in the back so you can write in the back of it but you could also use it as a bookmark mm cute little bunny and here's some more polaroids and it's inside of this envelope i'm not going to open it there might be a card a journaling card to write inside but i'm not sure but i did decorate it this and it's got some vintage stamps on it to decorate and some embossed paper and you could actually put a label here and use it if you want to gift it to someone there's another butterfly book page inside of a pocket that I created with some vintage music paper Edith Holden paper more writing paper and in the middle signature I created these cute little um, uh, envelopes that I learned on Pinterest and I think these are like origami and inside when you open it up there's a cute little sentiments and these sentiments are from Amity Bloom's collection it's a digital that she has and I don't remember the name of it but you can check it out I will link her below and they have cute little sentiments nature never did betray the heart that loved her and so each and every one of them have one so and they close like this by themselves here's another one imperfection is a form of freedom and they're cute so all of them have one and you have these three little um, butterflies as well in here to decorate the page and that's the middle of the signature here you have embossed not embossed the stenciled um roses and then i i went around the page with some gilded gold wax to decorate and just to get rid of the white and it makes it look nicer <laughs> and i did the um a little bottle here with some beads these are some glass beads let me see if i can get closer and it's got a cute tiny tiny little key charm inside mm -hmm. and then uh, some edith holden pages some music paper vintage papers and some vintage book pages and cute little um seed pocket and inside i have a little journaling card you can write on and cute 
wallpaper. This is a vintage ledger to decorate. Cute little beads. More writing space. See, this is what I use. One of these pages I use to fussy cut some of these flowers and butterflies. And I use them throughout the journal. And you'll see that. Here's a ledger paper that I folded and sewed the ends of it to create a little tuck space and added one of her cards from her digital from Angela Kerr. Spring has sprung and this is a craft uh, craft um, cardstock. More writing space. You can decorate, put pictures, anything you like. Lace decoration, edge decoration on the page, coffee dye paper, more writing space. This is the last page of the second signature. This is the third signature. I created a flip out following Ruby and Pearl's video and I added a cute tag from Amity Bloom and added some of these cute ladies and a charm that says made with love and it has some of that um, um, parent yarn sari silk. This cute little pocket with wallpapers. This is from um, Amity Bloom cute little wax seal on there and the back is cardstock and you got some cute Polaroids back here and a cute little um, pocket that I made with one of the embossed papers that I had left from Rose Hill Paper Cottage and a tag I mean a little um, journaling card and the back is covered with some vintage ledger it's really cute and it's a flip out isn't it cute I love it and I use, see, vintage letters to de to um, decorate the back of it. So you can use it to decorate your pages with that letter that I gifted he here in there in one of those envelopes. And here's a cute little butterfly. And I believe these butterflies are from my porch prints. And I added some of that cheesecloth behind it to decorate. Here's another pocket with that vintage music paper one of those cute little ladies again and a tag this tag is from one of the digitals from amity bloom cute little ruffle again coffee dyed paper in the back so you can write in the back and everything add more stuff in these cute little pockets handmade paper this is the digital from the digital angela kerr this is a book page a vintage book page you might hear my dog um, snoring. She's sleeping. <laughs> She's old. And my coffee dyed paper. Um, here, you see, I used the little butterflies, fussy cut the little bunnies and stuff. And then I added a little sentiment here. She's like a flower. Beautiful, fierce, and free. More writing space. And here I made an envelope. This is with a book page from... Um, from Edith Holden, I believe. Let me see. I'll open it up for you. Yep, Edith Holden on the inside. It was stenciled. Looks like with flowers inside. And the outside is with vellum. And the vellum, I printed a uh, picture from, I believe, one of the digitals from Amity Bloom. And I added on to the vellum. Or it could be from ruby and pearl as well i get them confused for some reason because they kind of look alike some of the wallpapers but i think this is amity bloom so cute and then some more writing space a ledger i decorated with some seam binding and sewed around it vellum here's another um side of this this is a middle page this is like a um wallpaper and i printed it on that nice linen paper so you can feel it like wallpaper and in the back of it what i did was i stenciled some roses i stamped it and i also did a collage of vintage music paper over it so just to decorate it so it's not white and then on the other side i did the same so it's the whole back side and here i did a belly band with one of the wallpapers too and you can feel it. it's really cool with a journaling card that has some crazy stitching around on this rose so pretty and this is from the um, kit from uh, Angela Kerr as well so it's part of that digital 
here is the vellum again ledger and I made a tuck and I sewed it here with some thin binding and another journaling card you can write on more writing space and here this is the paper studio from the Hobby Lobby that I bought and I put them together and I created a secret pocket with a vintage photo or a postcard that you can use as well to decorate the book. More pages, coffee that paper, book page, vintage book page. This is one of the digitals. How pretty with the polka dot. You can actually decorate this, put pictures, write on it, whatever you would like. Well, um, handmade paper from Rose Hill Paper Cottage. I usually add these in every journal and I connect them with fabric or paper or whatever but in this book I actually use fabric and it looks so cute to decorate it. And here's some more coffee day. I mean music paper. I created pockets and made a little tag. This is from Amity Bloom. Decorated with one of those ladies and a ladies and some um uh, um the um sentiments from amity bloom as well coffee dye paper so cute more writing space cute little vintage um decoration here like a bead glass beads and then in the back you have two lace pockets sewn in and it's also cushioned just like the front cover and you have another one of the book um um uh what is this cute little uh, bookmarks with a butterfly that was gifted to me and i will link her below so that you can see where she's um where she's from cute little polaroids the rest of them from raindrop lila and the rest of the pictures and I made them into postcards, all of them, so the person can use them as postcards and gift it to anyone they would like. How cute is that? Or decorate the book. It's fine too. And then here I added a tag with some washi tape of my own that you can use to decorate the book as well. These are those washi tapes that I use on my journals. And they're so cute and so yeah this is it this is the whole book it's nice and chunky it is sturdy i know because i use that hard cover um and i painted it it is it's completely sealed like i mentioned but it's cute it's got all these cute ruffles here and ruffles here wait till you see the pink one and the green one Oof. so i'm just gonna let you know that i will be posting in my Instagram when they're available in my Etsy shop for you to purchase okay so this one is the yellow one I will make sure that I will name her I'm not sure what I'm gonna name her yet but I'll make sure to write the word yellow on there so that you know which one it is and I will post some pictures as well so um, without further ado just make sure that you guys follow me on my Instagram so that you can keep updated on what's coming and when they're going to be available in my Etsy shop. And I will let you know when the other one is ready as well. I have the pink one that I'm going to be doing a video for. And the green one is almost finished. And I should be doing a separate video for each. Anyway, thank you for watching and thank you for your support. I love you all. I appreciate you, especially all of you new ones that have subscribed to my channel. Thank you so much for subscribing. Keep following. I will be making some videos soon so that you can see what I'm working on and um, getting all of that settled, okay? But until until next time, um, until then, uh, I'm still getting it ready. And I'm kind of nervous doing videos so because I don't do it as often. But I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. And until next time. Bye now.